If you've used AI in the past and gotten bogged down by having to give the chatbot and that thread all of the details of your business every time, I'm going to show you how to build a custom GPT using your marketing field guide, your brand guidelines. We'll also show you how you can do this on the free version of ChatGPT by just having a document with all of the details of your business that you share into that chat. Let's dive right in. So you're going to start by filling out your marketing field guide. This is all of the details about your business. A lot of this I copy pasted from sales pages, from testimonials that I've gotten, um, different places where I've got all of this information. I've compiled it now into this one document so that I have everything in one place and can feed that into my custom GPT. This took me about 45 minutes to complete and included writing that founder story over again. But overall, this is going to save me a lot of time in the long run now that I've got everything compiled together. Go ahead and download that when you're done. You can also use the share link from Google as long as you make it a public link and put that into your GPT, but I find having it downloaded is a better choice for your custom GPT. Okay, now we're in ChatGPT. I'm in a free account now. I have a paid account as well that I'll show you how to make a custom GPT in, but first I just wanted to show you that even if you're using the free version of ChatGPT, you can still use your marketing field guide to help craft responses. We're gonna start by using this little um, paperclip here and we're going to connect it to our Google Drive to use that link or we can just upload from the computer. I'm going to upload the downloaded version that I made of my marketing field guide and I'm just going to say here's my marketing field guide. This acts as my brand guidelines and informs you about my business and brand voice. So then ChatGPT just basically spit back everything that's in that document. Um, you can see it pulled exact pieces from what I typed in um, and it also summarized some of it. So from here, I'm going to say, great, let's start by writing an Instagram post. I want this to be a carousel post talking about the benefits of Brand Basecamp. I'd like copy for the slides as well as a caption and hashtags to use. Please make sure to use keywords that will attract my ideal client and help Instagram properly place this carousel with the algorithm. We're going to use these same um, prompts again in a custom GPT on the paid version of ChatGPT just so you can see the difference. Okay, so it did that task. Now, basically what you can do is continue to use this same chat and ChatGPT has the memory of everything about your business all in one place. Um, let's look at using a custom GPT instead. We're gonna click our little profile, go to my GPTs, and we're gonna create a GPT. It's going to give us some options here. We're going to just tell ChatGPT what its job is. I said, you are a marketing expert excelling in conversion copywriting. You understand how to analyze data and know how the ideal client thinks, feels, and acts. I'm attaching the guidelines for this brand and business. Please keep your responses conversational and at a seventh grade reading level or below. And I'll just pop that document in. And then it's creating its role and goal, its constraints, its guidelines, its clarification, personalization, and it's asking me questions, anything specific you want to emphasize or avoid further in these areas. And again, it pulled information from that document. Creating custom GPTs is super easy, though they sometimes end up being kind of funky on the back end. You can also use this configure um, tab. In this configure tab, you could just write the instructions here. Um, and then upload the document as well. You can delete all of these if you want or add your own questions, conversation starters, um, and go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on code interpreter and data analysis. And then you can turn on or off um, the data to improve ChatGPT. So I'm gonna click create. This one's in only me. I'm going to open up my little marketing assistant. All right, now I've accessed this GPT over on the left-hand side of my screen here, Marketing Copy Expert. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and then I'm going to paste in the same prompt that I used in the free version. You can go ahead and run that. Okay, and then anytime with ChatGPT, I like to iterate on things. Um, I'm never going to take what they originally give me. So on this, I'm going to say, okay, it looks like we're talking more about the features instead of the benefits. So I said, can we sh make sure we are sharing how each feature helps the ideal client versus sharing what's just sharing what's included on the slides? And then it's going to give me a 
a revised version. I'm going to say, great, can we get a little more creative with benefits beyond what I've provided to you? Let's go deeper into how each benefit helps. And then it is going to give me a little bit more in-depth. So there is that response. Now, again, you can keep going with this. You can say, um, okay, great. I've got a new sales page. So it's gone, gone through and analyzed my sales page and given me some feedback. Um, and I do agree with some of this. Uh, so I would go in and fix those things. Here's another way you can use this. Please act as my ideal client for Brand Basecamp. What kinds of Instagram posts would help you make the decision to join? It's going to give me a description of that some sample post ideas. But basically, now that you've got this custom GPT built, anytime you want to work on something about your business, you can click into that particular um, tool and start a new thread. You can run in the same thread, but um, you have those options just to start, basically start over with a new thread. Um, and it doesn't remember what it's used in previous threads, which I find helpful. I have sometimes like find that when I'm working with AI and a GPT or a um, a prompt or a thread, it gets like confused and tangled up and starting a whole new thread is the way to go. But when you've already got all of that brand-based knowledge um, installed into that GPT, it makes it move faster. Hope that's helpful. Again, just so many uses for this, but there are a few. If you need help figuring out what goes into those brand guidelines, sign up for the waitlist for your marketing field guide workshop. In this workshop, you'll learn how to figure out your zone of genius, how that plays into your marketing and helps you connect with the right clients, along with the other pieces of your marketing trail mix, how to align your offers with your strengths, and then creating that marketing field guide so you can create your own custom GPT, just like we talked about here. You can find the link in the description below.